In this video, we will talk about the outsourcing module in LSP Expert. We will first create a new job and then outsource it to a supplier. This new job is a press release for our client Microsoft. A translation from English into French, 1,500 words for next Friday. To outsource the job, you have to click on the Outsourcing tab in the job on the left. Normally, the system gives you a list of all your suppliers offering the service concerned, in this case, a translation from English into French. But here it's empty, because we haven't entered any suppliers yet. So let's add Sophie Dupont as our supplier. For that, we click on Add a supplier and we enter her name and her email address. We arrive in the Outsourcing tab of the job. The total of the outsourcing is zero, because we haven't defined any rates for Sophie yet. So let's edit the outsourcing and say that her rate is 9 cents per word. Now you see that the outsourcing will cost you 135 euro. And of course, Sophie's profile is now updated with this rate for this service. And you also see that the total of the job is 210 euro, that you outsource to Sophie for 135 euro, and so your margin is 75 euro or 35%. The due date is by default the due date of the job, but you can of course change it if you want your supplier to deliver the job before. Here, let's say I want Sophie to deliver the job the day before the due date. You can create a purchase order for Sophie by using the Create button in the Outsourcing page. In the PO, you can change the number format. Here, let's say we want our PO to have the number PO 2019-001. You can also add a tax, and we will add a VAT tax of 21%. And you can also add Sophie's address. Then, you can generate the PDF file of the PO and send the document by email by using the Actions button. Let's create the PDF file of our PO by clicking on Generate PDF. And that's how it looks. To send the document by email, again you have to click on the Actions button in the PO and select Email Purchase Order. You then arrive in a sending screen where you can edit the message to Sophie if you want. And you see the attached file is here. Then click on Send. In the PO, you see the status automatically switched to Send. You have more detailed information with this little icon that tells you at what time exactly your supplier received and opened the email. Back in your list of jobs, you see a little icon appeared to indicate that the job has been outsourced and you have all the info when you put your mouse on it. When Sophie sends her job back, you can mark the outsourcing as finished by clicking on the little person icon. The system automatically asks you if you would like to create an expense for this outsourcing. Almost all the fields in the pop-up are already filled in. You just have to add the label. And here we will add the outsourcing label. Then click on Add. In your list of expenses, you now see the expense we just created. You can click on different items to access the job details or the supplier's details. You can also upload a receipt for this expense, in this case, the invoice of the supplier when she sends it. As for the due date of the expense, it is calculated using the payment term defined at the supplier level. Back in the suppliers list, you can also rate your suppliers by using the little stars. Click on the supplier 
and then on the stars next to his name. You can also add a note for the supplier to explain your rating, for example. For each supplier, you can also add, edit and delete services. You can also define periods of unavailability, so when the supplier is on holidays, for example, and you can add files like a resume, a non-disclosure agreement, etc. In the Reports tab, there are two useful reports about your suppliers. The Expenses by Supplier report, where you have all the expenses for each supplier for each month and in total, and the Jobs by Supplier report that tells you how many jobs each supplier did for you. You can also have a look at the Profit and Loss report that shows you exactly your benefits by calculating your sales minus your expenses. And that's it for the outsourcing functionality.